Hello everyone, this is Crota trying to come up with a strategy for you guys that actually works on this stage. Um, having a bit of problems uh, trying to get a strategy that consistently works and we'll, we'll see what I can make of this. This is um, rather annoying for me that I cannot, uh, that I can't repeat the strategy that I used when I was waiting and waiting and waiting for my second daughter to be born. Yes, I do have children. I am a grown man who enjoys video games, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. Okay. Maybe I don't need these guys up to the level 3 tower. And I should just start investing into the Dwarven Towers a bit earlier. Let me try that strategy. Alright, a nice good stun there again. And wait for the Reapers, wait for them, wait for them, wait for them. Come on, where are the Reapers? Where are the Reapers? There they are. And now, Fireball. So far, so far, so good. Would really like to get this up to a Dwarven Tower or the Mech Tower and bring it over to the fight. Would really like that. didn't see what I did there, I upgraded my knight just in time so that he can still fight the gorilla and and have more hit points and not get taken down just quite yet. A um, little bit of a strategy, it's, it's like instantly training up and getting your knight to be a little bit more stronger so that it can tank that tower just, or it can tank the big gorilla just a little while longer there. Okay, let's fireball right there. Hopefully... That is enough, and then I can start launching these attacks here. Yes, yes, this strategy might work. The or it's not the towers you build, it's the order you build them in. Alright. So this seems to be a bit easier this time around. Just having a little bit more gold helps out tremendously.
Okay. Oh, that was that was tough. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <sighs> Got through it finally.